you're having a good day and your pain is manageable. Before we get started, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, support the channel. I produce videos every week and also turn on those notifications and hit that like button. I'm also posting more on my social media, so I have a Facebook page and an Instagram as well that I'm fairly active on. If you could like those and follow me on there as well. Y'all real ones. Sjogren's. That is the topic of the day. I was diagnosed with secondary Sjogren's, which means that I was initially diagnosed with another autoimmune disorder, or lupus, and Eventually, I started developing symptoms that were similar to Sjogren's and was diagnosed with that. I did not know this, but more people have Sjogren's than lupus. It is said that 4 million Americans have Sjogren's and 3 million are not diagnosed. I made a video in the past about what Sjogren's is and the basics about it, so if you would like to see that video, go ahead and click the annotation that is up in here and check that out. I'll also link it in the description. For this video, I want to touch on the annoying symptoms that come along with Sjogren's and my experience along with what I use to treat it. I am not in any way saying this is the right way to do it, but this is my way and this is how I've been doing it. In the comments below, I would love to see what you guys do, what has helped you, what you think is best. I love seeing all those recommendations, so hit me with a comment. First things first. Annoying symptoms. So, of course, everyone knows the dry eyes. The dry eyes is a huge one. It's probably one of the more common ones to get. For me, the dry eyes was probably one of the first most noticeable symptoms. Uh, I remember going into my eye doctor and they would be like, wow, your eyes are pretty dry. I'd be like, really? <laughs> so I was pretty much just living with dry eyes without realizing it. What I do for my dry eyes, I just use over-the-counter stuff. So right now I'm giving this a try. I've tried a few different ones, but actually this one has been doing pretty good for me. I'm not sponsoring any of these in any which way. These are just over-the-counter eye drops that I use, and if you guys have ones that work great for you, I'd love to hear them. That one, I use them in the morning and I use them before I go to sleep. It seems to regulate them pretty well, unless of course I have air blowing in my eyes. That's annoying. The next big one is going to be dry mouth. So dry mouth is another huge one for me because along with that came my swollen salivary glands. I also made a video on swollen salivary glands. I made this back when the issue was starting more so. I've just kind of been dealing with it and yeah. And with the swollen salivary glands I find myself pushing to release. I get a lot of questions on that and how to release your spit and uh, I don't know what to really tell you I mean I guess I can show you I literally just go under here and I push up and go like that and now there's spit in my mouth that's attractive this is actually my more swollen one I go under put a lot of pressure push that's disgusting you guys asked I gave it to you. So mouth products. Everyone knows about this stuff. Biotene is basically just a dry mouth mouthwash. Yeah, so I use this all the time. It's a little expensive. Now, I just discovered this. These babies help me at nighttime. They're little lifesavers, so not literally the candy. They look like that. You pop it out. Uh, it says to do it on both sides of your mouth. You just literally put it on your back molar, either on the top or the bottom, and stick that baby in there with the adhesive side. Sleep, and it helps your salivary glands to work throughout the night. Every morning I wake up, my mouth is so dry and uncomfortable, and sometimes it wakes me up at night, and it even goes down my windpipe, and since I found these, I haven't had that issue. I'm hoping that's my solution. If you've tried these, I'd love to hear your experience as well. The next issue with the mouth would be cavities. And I, as a child growing up, even if I had candy, I didn't get cavities, man. All of a sudden, I'm 24, I brush my teeth like five times a day and I have cavities. Sjogren's, that's all Sjogren's fault. I just started using this. I'm really just trying to 
do what I can to save my mouth. It seems like when I go in, I always have a cavity and it's very frustrating because I know that it's because of my dry mouth. Stroganes can also affect other internal organs within the body, one of those being the pulmonary system. I just recently started researching this because I've been having lung issues, as I said in my last video, not necessarily lung, but chest area, lung, you know, it's all in the same spot. So I'm like, maybe it's my Sjogren's, maybe it's this. I don't know. The most common problem with your lungs in Sjogren's is interstitial lung disease. So you do want to periodically get your lungs checked, in my opinion. I'm actually going to get my lungs checked soon. I'm going to see if I can go to a specialist. Some other issues include pulmonary hypertension, amyloidosis, cystic lung disease, and lymphoma is more common in people with Sjogren's. I don't want to make people hypochondriacs, but it's just good to be aware of these things. Some tips and tricks not mentioned, water. <laughs> water is important for life in general. I mean, I feel you guys when I'm like, I drink so much water and it doesn't help, but I guess it's better than nothing, right? So there's that. These are the only things I use for my Sjogren's. Treatment wise, with medication, I just take my lupus medications and that's kind of the overlap there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions or experiences you want to share, let me know in the comments below. Like the video, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.